Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Peter Renna coming to you from my little comic nook, bringing you some dollar bin digging picks uh, for uh, the third week. I'm going through my uh, short boxes of unsorted stuff to try to find some dollar bin digging material for you while we're still on lockdown. I know some shops are uh, opening up, sort of, doing curbside pickups and whatever. We're getting some new books trickling out, but it's still not the same. And I don't know when it's going to be the same when we all you know, go back out and actually dig in a lot of boxes. I know some states are allowing things to go off right now, but unfortunately in my state here in New Jersey, we are not. And I don't foresee us doing that anytime soon. So for the foreseeable future, until I can get back out there digging in the boxes with the rest of you, I'm going to continue to go through my uh, short boxes of unsorted stuff. So, uh, as I said, I've done it for two weeks now. This is box three. Uh, for the most part, it's dollar bin stuff. There might be some stuff that's not, you know, a dollar. But if it is, I'm not going to pull it and pretend that it is. I'm going to pull it out and just say, oh, that shouldn't be in there. Or whatever it might be. So, to get myself prepped to dig into this short box here, I've got my, uh, in honor of my uh, buddy uh, Ben C. This is my uh, clown shoes. It's one of the favorite things he likes to say. And uh, we just did a clown episode on three comic Monty uh, that should be dropping on Friday, and uh, we covered clowns, so I picked this beer up for two reasons. It's not too bad. I mean, Space Cake Double IPA has, doesn't taste like cake. It's more of a citra, and uh, that's fine. But anyway, enough about beer. It's not what you are probably here for if you're even here. You're here to look at some comics, so I'm going to switch on over to my uh, digging cam, my little makeshift uh, phone, paper towel holder contraption, See if we got this lined up, and uh, let's see what we got in this box, and see if there's anything worth writing about this week. Uh, hopefully, there's not too much shadow. I switched it up, uh, the direction for this week of uh, where my box is. Anyway, so Sleepwalker One. No, I mean it's a good '90s book, but yeah, I don't feel like writing about Sleepwalker One. Uh, I do like this Del Auto, uh Devil Dinosaur cover. I think it's pretty cool. You get Spidey. I'm bending 15. I grab this. Uh, usually want to see it in a box. Sorry for the glare. Let's see if I can try to block it with my body a little bit. Uh, these Blade 90s books are always, uh, yeah, not too bad to grab. I mean, it's tough finding them in good condition because nobody really cared about them. Just like Ravage 20.99. I mean, again, some of this stuff's a dollar. Some of this is less than a dollar. You just grab it. And uh, that Prime. You know what? I think I know somebody who likes this, so I might pull this to write about Prime. Uh, Secret Wars 3. Uh, this is actually first appearance. I think this is first Titania, who might be a character they put in uh, a She-Hulk series. Yeah, another strong female that uh, maybe she can uh, battle a bit on screen. Yeah, let me pull that out of there. That Secret Wars uh, series has more than just the first black suit Spidey, or not first, in continuity, first black suit Spidey. Uh, I mean, you've got that, you've got Secret War 7, I think it's the Spider-Woman in there, like I said, Titania, and I think there's another one, like Volcana or something. I don't know, I could be pronouncing these names wrong. Forgive me, a lot of my uh, knowledge comes from when I was a kid, so all I, all I ever knew was what I read, because I didn't talk to anybody about this stuff back then. But anyway, rolling on, Unlim 2099 Unlimited, I think this is a, I don't know if this is a free, yeah, premiere, Hulk, 2099, so yeah, first, there's a first there. Avengers Academy 1. I think this is his first little, uh, this dinosaur guy. I can't remember his name, but I think he was on the, uh, cartoon series that they, uh, that they made. Starring, like, a weird Young Avengers. I don't know. I'll just pull it out of there. Give myself some options. Ah, oh, these James Jean Batgirls. Again, I know I've talked about them before. I've covered them in this, uh, column before. But, again, I, as I said, every time I see them, I grab them. And so, there's probably a few. And they're just gorgeous. Again, grab these every time I see them. Just good stuff. Uh, Cloak and Dagger 2. Yeah, 3. Again, a dollar or less stuff. Uh, these J.G. Jones. Uh, these, yep, 2 in particular. The Wonder Woman and the Supergirl. Uh, I enjoy. I think they're uh, they're pretty darn good. And again, every time I see them, just grab them. Uh, he, you could probably sell them for a few bucks. I mean, they're not at pricey books by any stretch, but Again, if you don't have them, this is the kind of stuff you want to grab on the cheap just because it's just nice to have on the PC. Claws of the Panther. Yeah, I like this little series. I'm surprised it uh, doesn't do a bit more. You can pretty much get these for a dollar a piece as a set if you look on eBay and just have to pay for the shipping. But, you know, it's interesting. I mean, if they had ever went to uh, putting Shuri in the Black Panther costume, that could see something. 
Uh, I, it's Hughes, Justice League 3, 4. I grab this every time. I don't know. It just Hughes covers, even in these old ones. I just grab them. I want to see them. Just again, Middleton. Middleton Supergirls. I know. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but there are these. So I'll show you what's here. I'm going to take another drink. Again, another just good run of covers. I love this cover. I don't know how many of these I have scattered in these boxes, but this one in particular is probably my favorite. Oh, should have put my comic barricade in this box to keep things from shifting on me. Oh, Warrior Nun. Oh, really? I don't know if I'm saying her name right. I'm not sure if this is the first or second, but this would be a good look. I think it might have been an option for something. Feel like it was, or at least there was some option news at some point. So we'll take a look, see if that's a first, because I think there's a first and a second for that one. Eh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I like Chilling Adventures on Netflix. I think it's an underrated little show. Uh, Jughead's Time, please. Oh, that's the one in there. Stormbreaker, four to six. Some of these random sets are find pieces out there in the wild and just try to put them together at times like this. Three or four blank. Uh, I like these Mayhews. Um, they, they're not all winners. This isn't the best. Uh, I mean, you got Emma Frost back there, but uh, oh, actually, this is Greg Horn. Sorry, this is not Mayhew. This is Greg Horn. And Greg Horn, he uh, he's pretty uh, hit or miss with me. Uh, I don't love all of his covers, but I do like most of his run on this uh, Emma Frost series. Uh, a Venom Leaf Protector Five, which you know eh, heated up a while back with all these uh, symbiotes. Maybe they do again with the new Venom movie. Who knows? But uh, this is one. Yeah, I mean, it's already gotten hot. I'm just no sense of calling that out, but. I should probably do something with that. Alpha Fight thir Alpha Flight 33. I think is a uh, Lady Deathstrike. Eureka is in here. Uh, I think I already wrote about this one, so I'll just leave that one in the box for now. Uh, Campbell She Campbell She Hulk always nice. I think that's a uh, you know, She Hulk behind She Hulk and uh, can't remember her, her name. Anyway, moving on. King Shark. I think there was a, yeah, I think this is actually worth a couple of bucks these days just because I think he's supposed to be in Suicide Squad, uh, James Gunn's version. So if you see these out there, again, these are books that you should know. I mean, some of them are books you should know. Uh, Starman, I think this is just take a flyer. I mean, a first issue, character like Starman, why not? Stars of Stripe, well, we know her series is starting soon. This is not her first, but this is issue one of her series. I think Zero, the Zero issue is the first. But again, if you can find this, I mean, absolutely go grab it. Road Trooper wrote about this one a week or two ago. Silver Sable in the Wild Pack. Always got to go with those 90s uh, gimmick covers. Excalibur 1. Huh, it's a good series. You can find them out there. Might as well grab them. Black Widow. Well, I think this got hot for a little bit because I think this is first. Uh, well, not first, but another early, I guess, Elena Belova uh, appearance uh, in that issue. I got Web 97, which I think is 97 and 99 are the two get associated with uh, Nightwatch as his first. Here's that uh, first Sidorak. Again, pardon my pronunciation if I'm uh, butchering this stuff. I'm just going off of how I think it should be pronounced. But I know uh, this heated up on Donny Cates. Uh, I think he tweeted about it, something. It was one of the Donny Cates heat books, which, I mean, it's interesting stuff. And again, you find weird books like this, it's a first. Might as well grab it. New Warriors. Eh, who knows? First Proteus, oh, not, yeah, Proteus, I think, yeah. Oh, here's a Quasar. This is the correct numbered one. This is 32 from the regular series. I think last week I wrote, I found, the, I showed you those number ones uh, where it was a new stand version where they I had to renumber. So here's the 30, number 32 version of the same issue. And also first, uh, what the heck's his name? Korath? Eh, can't remember. All right, Avengers 344. Yeah, these are some good Black Knight books, I think, like 344, 350. It could uh, be relevant to the Eternals movie. Uh, New Excalibur number one. Uh, Excalibur 101. Delina Belova. See, I think this is also, yeah, this is a Greg Horn, but I don't love this one. She looks a little too Pam Anderson here, and not in a good way, if that makes any sense to you. I don't know. It's just a... Yeah, just not then. She looks like Pam Anderson mixed with Rosie Perez in this one. Sorry for the glare again. I'll try to do my best in showing the book. Oh, this is a dinged up 2099 Spider Man. Again, I, I will grab beat up copies if I find them out there cheap enough. I also love grabbing these uh, reprints like these uh, Millennium DCs or the uh, Marvel Milestones, the reprints, because 
I mean, this is an easy way to get to read these books, but just cool covers. Uh, I love Battle Chasers. The Joe Mad is one of my favorite artists from uh, when I was younger. And uh, this series, even though it was delayed for quite a bit as he went to go to the video game world, I still uh, I still enjoy it. You know what? That's second print. Uh, take a look at that. See if that's uh, worth writing about. Ah, Magnus. I remember when this book was on new release walls back when I was collecting in the early 90s, and this was a big book on the wall. Those early Valiants, because you had that, which was also the first uh, Rye there, issue one, little flip book action going, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look, there's some uh, cards in here still, little Valiant cards. Yeah, little coupon. I believe that coupon was a mail away for, uh, I forget what you had a mail away for. I don't know if that was Unity already. Not sure, but there was a mail away coupon in there. Uh, for one of those Valiant books. Pardon me for uh, not remembering a 30-year-old uh, coupon program. Oh, there's a regular Rye one. Again, these were big books when I was younger, so when I see them today, even for cheap, I just grab them for nostalgia's sake. And uh, some of these are still good stories. Uh, Hughes, Hughes the Tana. Uh, everybody knows 15 and 16, but I, yeah, any of the other ones I'll go grab, especially they're cheap. Just got to do it. Just got to do it. I mean, with these Moon Knights, I mean, I don't leave them. I mean, why? It's cheap enough. I'll worry about uh, whether I have it later. If I get extras, I get extras. Because you can usually get your money back. I mean, again, we're talking about books that you're paying a dollar or less for. So uh, let's just keep it moving. Sort of as real again. This is issue two. Stuff from the 90s. Again, it, I just can't let it go when I see it. First copycat, which I think was actually a... Uh, what's her name's uh, character? Deadpool's girlfriend. Can't think of her name for some reason. If she was in Firefly. Uh, Monica Picaren? I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right. Anyway, Angela won. Uh, interesting series. Not her first, but that's her first solo. I love this uh, limb run on Silver Server, so I always grab those two. Again, some stuff, you just have it. You just can't leave behind. What the? I don't know. Weird books. Always fun to flip through. Eh, okay. Another She-Hulk Marvel Age. Again, I grab these Marvel Ages because, again, you can usually find them for less than a dollar. Ah, this Sabretooth series. Yeah, probably all four of them in here because you usually find them all together when you find them in the box. You have to fill these same crappy bags, so this came all from the same spot. A dollar or less is all you pay for those. Hey, Howard the Duck. Yeah, Howard has his fans. Everything. we got a Sinestro cat here. Uh... This was a My Comic Shop book, but I didn't buy it from My Comic Shop because I don't remember ordering it. And that's the thing. Sometimes you find these in the bins that you can see the store that the person or the person even before that, somebody bought these books from a shop that is maybe unfamiliar to you or even familiar to you. You know, sometimes there's a stamp on the back of the board or there's a little card inside. And I always find that fun in new stores. And, you know, it could be a, a new a new hole for you to find online. You see a store you've never heard of that's out in some other part of the country that's not near you and you see they have an online presence it could be something that not a lot of people know about and maybe you can find books i don't know just a little tip things to look at when you're looking at uh, old old books half the time those stores are probably closed but hey you never know uh zero hour i think this is uh when the new starman got the staff i can't remember if it was an issue one or zero or four it counted down so it really messes me up with the number on that zero hour book but a eh, little Bundy action there, Married with Children book. Uh, I think this is first Superior Spider-Man or Superior. Yeah, I think so. When Doc Ock took over Spidey, he might have been flying solo in this. Pretty sure that was a uh, something of note in there. These Mark Specter Moon Knights. Again, cheap enough. Why not? Uh, once his uh, Disney Plus series starts to get some momentum once everything starts going back to normal we could see all those books start to move well this is a deadly class number two that show it oh, i'm so disappointed it got canceled it was one of the best shows on tv and we only got one season and ended on a cliffhanger i'm still upset about that don't know why no one has picked that up great show ah dc versus marvel i know all those rumors about uh, a potential purchase or combination of these coming together, but hey, eh, the newsstand too. Huh, something else. Let's pull that one out. Oh yeah, this whole series. So I mean, it's also just a fun read. I always liked reading these things when the uh, the companies crossed over 
uh, back in the day just to see who they uh, decided. We'll let your side win this one, but we're going to win that one kind of a situation. It was always fun. Uh, Wonder Woman won from the 80s. 17. Oh, I like this Middleton cover. It's a Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger Anniversary. Ugh. Life filled Wolverine Deadpool issue. Yeah, there's, I think it's this issue, 154, 155. I think, yeah, if you can find them, they're, they're worth a couple of bucks. Anytime uh, Deadpool crossed over in other series back then, they were uh, books that uh, people wanted. Uh, another, what the, what the one. Ah, it's Ren and Stimpy with uh, Spider Man. I remember. I think I wrote about this one already. I'll leave that behind. Another, what the, ah, the SNL. Marvel team up book. Sorry if I'm not paying attention too much to the glare. I'm looking at the book. And to me, it's not not showing much of a glare on screen. I guess it is. Ah, crawl. This is a great movie. I, I might just have to pull this just for fun. I think it's only two issues in this uh, Marvel movie special. And uh, this the glaive is one of the best movie weapons I think ever. I don't know it, it's. I mean, it's great for nostalgia's sake, and sure, if you watch it for the first time today, maybe the idea of a moving castle and. Uh, Cyclopses that gave their eyes for I don't know. Maybe it's not for everyone, but I still love this movie. And who knows, man? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll write about that. Ah, these are great toys. Saga or Crystal, Crystal Warrior. Uh, I always found it funny that uh, down here in the bottom they didn't put uh, the little Spidey head. It's not newsstand. This is just the same distributed by Marvel Entertainment Group. I don't know if they just needed to differentiate themselves or what the deal was there, but always found this book was weird to have it stamped like that, basically instead of having like the uh, usual uh, spidey head from back in the day uh middleton new mutants always good books oh yeah these are not dollar pickups i don't think i think it was just regular uh i don't know i remember when that, this character was a possible next big thing and hey we got to get these second prints because hey look they connect we gotta get them gotta get them look they connect it's uh, i don't know hey i fall victim to it too fomo is real Nova. Oh, I always like getting these Nova issues, but I'm not sure which ones I have and which ones I'm missing. I mean, by now you know which ones are the, I guess, key or more important issues from these runs, but uh, it could be kind of hard to differentiate them, to be honest. I mean, uh, Marvel issues back then with them restarting so often, it, it gets kind of hard sometimes to know what series you're in and which Nova we're looking at. Uh, She-Hulk 8. Uh, she -Hulk. I like these Diodados. I think I wrote about these already, too, but She-Hulk has a some great covers from the Diodato run. And then you go to the, you know, John Byrne era. It, it's uh, just good covers. Like, I mean, in some of these. Again, just get them for the PC. I don't believe they're worth all that much, but they're great covers. I would get them if I found them. Oh, I always loved this book. Uh, this is one of the first books I picked up out of a back issue bin when I first started collecting comics actually collecting them collecting them, not just uh, flipping through them uh, casually but uh, always love this issue I'm pretty sure if I didn't pay a dollar for this I don't know why this is in there I don't know it's possible I did I do find stuff like that sometimes as everybody does hey the uh, first black racer this copy's beat 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 I mean you can look it's barely attached but again I don't know I'd rather have it than not have it so I'll take that copy again if it's cheap enough just like all the dazzlers you'll see out there dazzler ones oh uh, we got a conan 250 yeah late run conans they actually uh uh do pretty well uh oh i do remember when i found this one this is a marvel tales which we know are reprints and this is a reprint of i believe issue 31 but what caught my eye when i found this in the uh box is that this is also a mark jewelers so yeah just for fun you, you never know the weird stuff you find out there uh, Mark Jewelers usually commands a premium for like the key books. This is not a key book. It's a reprint of a key book, but hey, it's interesting. You know, I'll take a look, see what that's got going on for it. I don't know, caught my eye. And uh, that's the kind of stuff. Sometimes you just got to go uh, on instinct thinking that, yes, these Marvel tears are reprints just like this one. But if you can get them for 50 cents, why not just get them and uh, read them and or see you know, some people can't afford the real issues, so they do want the reprints because they are uh, still collectible in their own right for one reason or another. Uh, Howard the Duck 3, probably with the from the same place I got the 4. Sometimes these boxes get jumbled. Just, yeah, yeah, Avengers 350. I figured this was in here. 
want to sell that 344 because I think I found these together out of the same box. Uh, beta Red Bill. Yeah, the Green of Eden. I think this is a one shot. Yeah, one shot. Uh, so, I don't know if we ever do see Beta Ray. Maybe, uh, I don't know if they pull something from that story. Uh, Quasar 24. You know, I don't know. I'd hate to write about Quasar for the second week in a row, but I think this is actually the first appearance of Infinity, which is one of those weird Marvel cosmic characters. So, I don't know. Again, I'll put it in my pile. I'm only going to do four. I'll see which four uh, I feel like writing about tonight so I can post the article for tomorrow. Uh, FF 212. I think this is a... Early Terex? I'm not sure. Can't remember. Can't remember everything off the top of my head sometimes, especially when you're flipping through a box. And uh, that's why you just try to do your best. Again, yeah, no more Quasars. You see Quasars out there all the time. Uh, and you just grab new release books sometimes on the cheap because it's overstock. And dealers throw, look, another New Mutants 1. Middleton's, I'm telling you. It just, I, almost OCD. I see these uh, same, same books, and I keep buying them over and over again. And good or bad, uh, it's what I do. Uh, and again, I know this one has a, it got hot for a little while, I think with the Deadpool 2 movie. I don't even remember the character's name now, but I'm pretty sure that was, uh, the one, but all these covers are just outstanding. And we're coming to near the end of this box. It's like this, uh, Warren Ellis run of Moon Knight. Uh, just great read, just great stuff. So, uh, I know these aren't worth all that much on the back issue market, and you can find these in these bins. Again, I would pick them up just to read them. Who knows? I'm, we still don't know exactly who's going to be Moon Knight, what series, or how they're going to present him, what kind of character they're going to present, because Moon Knight has a weird history and a lot of different uh, personalities and different uh, flavors that they could uh, provide as a series. So, I don't know. Again, nearing the end, uh, Detective 647 and 48. Those are for Stephanie Brown. Spoiler issues. I think I covered one of the two of them already, so I'm not going to pull those. And just a yeah, random Sandman there in the back. Yeah, Sandman 7. So, no, it is not first death or anything like that. But, hey, Sandman, awesome, even just to read. So that was that box. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed what was in there. Uh, I think I found some interesting stuff. I'm sure I can pull four things to write about out of this pile. And, uh, I don't know, again, take it from there. So, again, while we're still stuck in this, this is my third box. So I'm just going to go through, start pulling stuff like this, all stuff that I've already purchased for a dollar over the last couple of months just to uh, kind of fill the time until I can get back and start digging new boxes to start adding more books to this insane amount of backlog that I need to go through. So I don't know. Until next time, I guess you guys stay safe and uh, keep reading comics. Again, comicbookinvest.com. I write at least one article a week. I'd like to do more, but I just can't seem to find the time to sit down and... Uh, write these uh, ideas that I still have kicking around in my head, getting back to Wizard Rewind and uh, Usual Suspects. But I will get back to them eventually. And uh, check out Tales from the Flipside YouTube channel. I uh, pop up on there occasionally as well. It's just fun to talk comics with people who uh, enjoy comics and love comics just like I do. Uh, all free content is free, open community. Just come hang out, come read, enjoy. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you enjoy the article I'm about to write and I will see you guys next time. All right.